uh, we are coming to you live from YCS Melbourne 2018. We have Matt here with us doing a deck profile for us. He has playing tricksters today. So Matt, thanks for coming and uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Oh, well, I'm Julius from Adelaide. Um, I guess my most noticeable achievement is that uh, I represented Australia alongside Bowden in the 2016 World Championship and ended up coming fourth. Awesome. What deck were you playing then? I was playing Monarchs. Awesome. Good deck. One of my personal favourites. Yeah, that's it. So you got Trick Stars for us today. I mate. do indeed have Trick Stars awesome. today. Awesome. Well, let's, without any further ado, let's All see right. what you're playing. Okay, well, classic three Candina, pretty self-standard there. Then three Lycris, also self-standard. And only one Lily Bell. Uh, I don't think I need more, so I'll just use the one today. Um, hand traps, so to speak. So three Ash Blossom, best card. Um, three card. Ghost Ogre. Still think it's relevant at the moment. Uh, three Joel and Lockbird um, for cheesy wins and also for actually stopping my opponents. Yeah, case, yeah. You know. um, and then the mandatory one maxi. We'll see what happens to that card in the future, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eater of Millions, uh, I'm going to play two today. Uh, I think three was too much for me, but uh, noticeably in the mirror match, um, people can have a problem of getting around this. And uh, you, know, you could bait Spiral Sleeper and uh, banish it face down, so I've done that before. Awesome. We'll see how it goes. Um, and the one GoFu, I still think it's relevant. Token generation in mink format, uh, still mandatory. So, uh, yeah, 20 monsters. Grand the spells, so three Trick Star Light Stage. Uh, can't play anything less than three of this card. And three Terraforming. Similar reason. Uh, if this wasn't once per turn, you could probably drop this, but uh, it's not once per turn, so keep it going. Uh, probably the best card in the game right now, Scapegoat. Um, extra decks flooded with Link Monsters. This is where the power plays come in that Trick Stars lack in some matchups, so uh, yeah, mandatory to play this, I reckon. Awesome. Uh, I'm only playing two Desires, don't really want to draw too many. The amount of times I've banished 10 and drawn two more Desires is way too many, so I'll just put that <laughs> to the side. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, generally want to go second with this build at the moment, um, so I'm only going to play two, but uh, the third one's in the side deck, so we'll see how it goes today. Uh, the one Regeki and the one Dark Hole. Again, going second, so all the board wipes. Uh, traps, Trickstar Reincarnation, three. Still think you need three, even though I'm going second. Um, you can side one out if you need to, but uh, combination of that and the Droll, it's just too, yeah. too good not to have. Uh, and the going second card, three. Evenly matched. Um, this is the reason I'm going second. If I wasn't going second, I wouldn't be playing this card, but it's just too good not to play. So, um, yeah, 41 in total. Extra? Yeah, if you yeah. Know, let's have a look. Three Link Spider. As I said, lots of Link summons, so this is where they facilitate them all. It all starts here with the tokens. So I'm just going to play three, see how it goes. Good. Uh, two Mrs. Radiant. Um, multiple scapegoats, multiple GoFus. Like the GoFu tokens can turn into Link Spiders. So. I think Mrs. is just really good. Uh, the one proxy, uh, Akashic Magician, is really good as well. You can summon it, then chain reincarnation to add Candy back to your hand to resummon it. So, some interesting interactions there. Um, it also punishes players who miss zone their monsters, which happens yeah. more often than you think. Uh, one Holy Angel, just a big beat stick, and also a Trick Star Monster. Uh, the Ib, I'll actually put Ningrisu next to it as well. Um, Scapegoat plus one monster makes this combo. Draw one card and then send one card from each player's side of the field. So I can lock down one of their back row with a light stage and then send it to the graveyard without them being able to respond to it. Awesome. So it's a really good play there. Uh, Deco Talker, uh, Gofu's in there. So I think this is really good. Um, this is notable for the Pendulum matchup because if they let you summon this, their trap card suddenly becomes less useful unless they destroy Deco straight away. Um, Firewall, haven't actually summoned it too much, but it's a necessary card. Um, even more so, I'll put this alongside it, because I've actually borrowed load Dragon, someone's like Deco Talker or Ningrisu, and then made Firewall Dragon afterwards, so um, still think it's necessary to be in there. Uh, one XC's Break Sword, same thing again with the Light Stage. Uh, overlay two Lycoris, and then destroy one of the back rows that's been locked down by Light Stage. Uh, and the last card, Omega, with Gofu plus Lycoris, so awesome. that's 15 extra. Cool, cool. My side deck today, um, two Gamma Seal. So, off matchups, Masterpiece is still a card. Um, totally Awesome is still a card. So, some things that just Eater of Millions can't handle as well. I'm just keeping myself safe. Uh, Diddy Crow, just another hand trap in the in the side deck. So, Spiral uses a lot of the graveyard. Trickstar in the matchup, and Mirror Match uses a lot of the graveyard as well. Um, Paleo, Rune and Toad, and whatnot. So, I think it's just a bit versatile at the moment. Uh, I prefer this over Reaper. Uh, I don't really like Reaper at the moment. Um, I like Spiral to want to keep summoning double Helix because I can manage that build. 
um, where they just play you know, a normal summon top or agent and just play 1900 game is a lot more challenging for this deck, I think. So um, we'll see if that mind game works tonight. Yeah. Um, three Prohibition. This is primarily for Spiral. Um, I've got the theory that if you call Super Agent, they can't really destroy this card very easily because the rest of their monsters in their deck become Super Agent when they're summoned, so they can't use any effects. Yeah. So we'll see if that plays well. Uh, two Chalice, Mirror Match, and other off decks. I don't really want to lose to a Burning this deck that decides to summon Vanity's Fiend and I can't out it, so yeah. let's let's have this in there as well. Uh, but this beats Borrow Dragon in Damage Death as well as uh, Eater of Millions too, so um, lots of utility there. Uh, Spell Shattering Arrow, I'm just going to play two because I'm playing the third Cyclone, otherwise I did play three of this at one stage. Uh, mostly for the Spiral matchup, but also for the Pendulum Magician matchup. Um, if I go second, I can block the Sleeper. They tend to target itself, so I play Spell Shattering, destroy the last resort, and it clears their board. So again, we'll see if that works tonight. Uh, and then three Solemns, so two Strikes and one Warning for when I need to side going first. And uh, evenly match normally comes out if I need to go first, so it's just a straight three for three. And that's what I've got planned today. Awesome. So let's talk matchups. What do you want to kind of see in the opening hand going up against Spiral? Well, in any opening hand, I just want to see a combination of stuff. Um, I don't want to see like double candy in a, a light stage and a terraforming. That's just too much of the trick star stuff. Yeah. The whole reason this deck works well, this format, is because it's a one to two card engine. I can just open a single terraforming or a single candina, do a lot of plays, and then it's the scapegoats or the, um, the solemns or the, you know, th those sorts of cards that really give me the boost. Against Spiral, um, if I'm going second, I'd like to see evenly matched because that's yeah. really helpful against that. But um, if not that, um, usually one board wipe's good to clear any immediate threats, um, at least one hand trap, if not two, so Ash or um, Ghost Ogre, and then, yeah, at least that Candina um, or Terraforming to get the light stage going. Anything after that's a bonus. Cool. So what do you, kind of, what do you think your best matchup's going to be this weekend? I've geared a, a lot towards Spiral. Um, as you can see, the spell shattering, the prohibition, yeah. evenly matched. Um, I think that's going to be the most represented deck today. So uh, I'm just going to go in most confident against them and see if I can throw them off their game. And um, yeah, if they're expecting something like Winter Cherries and they make some off plays, maybe I can uh, use that to my advantage because I'm not actually playing those cards they think I might be. Awesome. Cool, mate. Thanks for coming and having a chat to us today. No worries. Best luck over the weekend. And Thank you very much. Hope we see you again. Tune in.